Hi there, this is Alexa Luckenbach. I am a 2015 elite coach, six star diamond coach, and leader of Team Fire Away. And I wanted to do this video because this is something on my heart that I feel like I've heard so much lately from my coaches and people that I'm talking to about joining my team. And that is that they don't think that they can get their beach body or coaching business going because they can't like they are just trying to focus on themselves. They they don't know how they can help others um, when they can't even help themselves get on track with their own health and fitness journey. And so I literally I've, I've heard that from so many people. They think that they need to get awesome results or get on track with them themselves first and then their business will come because they'll be in the right spot they'll be um you know in a better place a better state of mind all that kind of stuff and this is what I have to say to that number one I will say this right now things are never going to be perfect and ideal when it comes to getting your business started I mean that's just the truth we always want to be ready we always want to have it be a better time than it is now but the thing is we're always going to have things going on. We're always going to have struggles. Something's going to pop up. Things are going to go wrong. And you're always, if you put it off to when things are better or when um, your situation is better, guess what? You're probably going to put it off forever. So just know that waiting until the perfect time is just procrastination. All that it is is just push, putting your goals off further and further and further, okay? Now, the second thing I want to kind of touch on is that, like I said, people think that they need to be, um, you know, better with themselves before they can pay it forward to others. But really, I think it's the other way around. I started off as a coach um, over two years ago, almost two years and like four months or so ago. And when I first got started with coaching, I had that same mentality. I didn't think that I could help anybody. I was 233.6 pounds when I first signed up. Um, I, th I probably had lost a couple pounds because I had been in my challenge group for two weeks before I signed up to be a coach. So needless to say, though, I was definitely not you know, the person that I am today. I was very insecure. I had no confidence. Like I said, I was about 230 pounds overweight. I was still in the overweight uh, BMI bracket. Um, I was still struggling hardcore with getting over my fast food addiction. So does that scream coach to you? Probably not. And I could definitely have used that excuse. I need to work on myself first before I can help others. But you know what I did instead? I used my journey and working on myself first to help others, if that makes sense. So I honestly believe that if you want to work on yourself and you want to, in, you know, get yourself to a better place, coaching shouldn't be an excuse. You shouldn't put coaching to the back burner. You should bring it to the front burner because the reason why I was able to grow and get better and lose the weight finally, I mean, I've, I've dropped 80 pounds and get my business started and see success with my coaches and my team and grow to be an elite, um, elite team in 2015 is because I stopped using that excuse and I stopped working started working on myself and used my business to help me do that so the great thing about being a coach and the great thing about this team is that if you help as many people as possible reach their goals you'll reach your goals and the thing is what we're here to do is not be fitness models, is not be uh, personal trainers with six-pack abs. If you have six-pack abs, that's awesome. That's definitely something I'm working towards. But we are not the, the personal trainers, the nutritionists, you know, the perfect people. Um, we, are, we are the motivators. We're the coaches. We're there for the support factor, okay? The fitness factor is left up to Shanti and Autumn and Sagi um, and Shalene, you know? And the nutrition factor is left up to those guys too, as well as the nutrition team that Beachbody has hired, the nutritionists, the experts that know their stuff about nutrition and the right amount of, you know, carbs and protein and fat. All that stuff's figured out. We're not here to be perfect. We're here to be that support factor. That's the third piece of the puzzle. You have to have support, or sorry, nutrition, fitness, and support to be successful on this journey. That's what we are. Now, again, a lot of coaches think that they can't offer support to others when they, they have so much work that they want to do for themselves. But you guys, like I said, work on yourself first. Put your journey first and use that not only to help yourself get better and focus on you and you reaching your goals, but you can do that at the same time 
and inspire people to reach their goals as well. And how do you do that? By just being open with sharing your journey and your story as you get started working on yourself. So for me, when I first got started with T25, that was my first program. Like I said, I was addicted to Taco Bell. I was in a really low spot. But instead of saying, well, I can't be a coach because I have so much work to do for myself, I, I, I mean, come on, like, how am I, I going to be this overweight girl that's going to, you know, inspire people? Instead of saying that and having that negative mindset and saying, I don't think I can help people, I said, you know what, I'm going to use this journey to help people, to inspire them to get started. So I started focusing on me. I got my T25 workouts in. I started drinking my Shakeology. I started to uh, follow my nutrition plan that came with my program. And I started to read personal development. And I tapped into my team page and my challenge group for support. All of those things were me working on myself. All of those things were me focusing on making me a better person. Okay? But... At the same time, I was just sharing those things that I was going through. I was sharing my workouts, drinking my Shakeology, my nutrition plan. I was sharing about my personal development that I was reading. I was just opening up and being an open book and kind of like, you know, almost like documenting my journey like a diary almost um, through social media. And you guys, I was working on myself. I was making progress. I was losing weight. I was gaining confidence. And at the same time, there were people that were coming to me saying, oh my gosh, I just saw your video of you getting your T25 workout in. Like, I need a 25 minute a day workout program. What is this thing that you're doing? Can you please help me? You look like you're happier every single day. You guys, I was not the person that I am today, two and a half years ago. But I worked on myself and I inspired and helped people and got my business going at the same time. Do you see, do you see what I'm saying? Like, if I didn't have coaching on my business... I would have fallen off with T25 so quick without my challenge group, without my team. Um, and if I didn't have coaching, I never would have known anything about personal development. I did no sort of personal development before I became a coach. So when people tell me, well, I want to work on myself before I can help others or run my business. I mean, I think you should run your business so that you can work on yourself so that you can get better because coaching is what pushed me to get better, to stay on track, to work on my mind and, and my health and fitness, right? Um, to, to work on it from the inside out. Coaching is what helped me get to my goals, okay? So next time that you are thinking like, I can't be a coach because I'm overweight. I can't be a coach because I need to just focus on me first. Well, you know what? If you want to focus on you first, you should be working your business because coaching is what helps you gain confidence, get on track, have that support and accountability, have a plan, and really work on you more than anything else. That's the reason why I love being a coach. Because it's literally, I sit here in my apartment, and my job is to work out and, and make sure I'm on track with my nutrition and drinking my Shakeology and pr providing support and accountability and motivation to other people. I mean, if that's not working on yourself, I don't know what is, right? So just know that if that is something that you want to do, if, if reaching your goals is important to you, coaching should be the first thing that you should get signed up for. Committing to your business is the first thing that you should sign up for because the accountability of this, of this team and working your business is what helped me get to where I am. Without coaching, I probably never would have grown and evolved and gotten to the place that I'm at right now, okay? So next time that you're thinking that you can't be a coach because you need to work on yourself, remember that coaching is the best way for you to work on yourself because it's our job to work on ourselves first and foremost and just share that with others so that they can do the same. I hope this video was helpful and I hope that you stop doubting yourself Stop doubting your ability to be a leader and to help people and to just believe in yourself and know that if you just get out there, if you start getting vulnerable and share your story, there's people out there that need to hear what you have to say. There's people out there that need to see that somebody else is on this journey too and give those people the hope that they need to continue on and to see results in their journey. Um, so like I said, I hope this was helpful and um, hope you have a great rest of your day. Get out there and stop making excuses and get started on your business.